Casey Brueggemann. I'm the senior food editor at Denver Magazine, and I'm here today at Studio Como for an event I'm so excited about. We're doing a blind beer tasting. Um, we just finished producing our March beverage issue, which is dedicated from cover to cover to all the great wines, beers, and spirits coming out of the state. And as part of that, Jay Parkins, our associate editor, worked on a story in the capital section taking a look at Coors and all of the micro products that they've come out with in recent years. And he had the great idea of pairing them up against some of the other craft beers um, that Coloradans know and love. And so we're here this morning to have a taste off. And what better panel of judges than a group of chefs from the Front Range who are brewing their own beer at home? So we're here today to find out just how well Coors matches up. Round one, wits. I found it definitely A's a little more refreshing. Yeah, it's definitely more refreshing. Definitely more of that body feel. B definitely has more of that, that uh, Belgian yeast mm -hmm. coming through the, the banana. Oh, yeah. Three to two, the winner is the new Belgian Mothership Wit. Round two, a pre prohibition style lager and a Pilsner with similar flavors. First off, the color difference is huge. I mean, this one's got this kind of like amber bronze is hue and this one's just kind of, you know, pale golden, but both crystal clear. This one's so sweet. I think I like B better because there's that small hint of bitterness left from this, which I think gives this balance, I think. We had one person, um, Ian, vote for the Avery's Joe's Pilsner, and the other four chefs preferred the Coors Batch 19. Round three. Lagers. We got some, uh, some high sugar malts, maybe some um, some kind of golden sugar additives to it too. A small amount of hop aroma on A. Yeah. A bitterness. Ooh. Uh, and this was th this was a pretty strong support for the Great Divide Haas ride. Round four: a German style lager and a Mexican lager. Surprisingly malty on B. A has a little bit more caramel notes, where B is uh, more of a, a roasted depth. I just get to the, uh, the dark dried fruits right up on there. Like this is somewhere between the doing yard work beer. I was just gonna say that. Right? And this is where you want to go out after work and have a couple beers. This was actually a landslide. Uh, the, the chefs all unanimously voted for the Del Norte Mexican Lager. Round five, seasonal ales. A is pretty light on the nose. This one is four as well, but a little bit more of a clovey taste to it. Buttery popcorn. Yeah, I can yeah. see that buttery. It's got like a little diaphragm. Wow, it tastes it's like, that's, like, that's kind of where. It's just like wicked bananas. It's always going yeah. it is so it's gonna be yeah. amazing. We had two chefs, Sam and Tim, who preferred the Blue Moon Spring Blonde Wheat, but the other three chefs preferred Boulder Beer's Sweaty Betty Blonde. So, uh, so what do you guys think? Beer's beer. I guess Coors made a couple good beers that I liked, but... Uh, yeah, definitely brought it up in between takes about the uh, the quality of beers being put out by Coors, and I'm definitely staying behind my decisions, and uh, I think Coors is doing some good things for beer. Yeah, I don't know if they've quite broken into the craft scene yet, but I think uh, they did a really, really good job, and they impressed each of us. So It was a fun time. Thanks for having me. <laughs> So if you were trying to get into home brewing, you know nothing about it, I would first go to a friend's house who also brews beer. The advice is to uh, pitch it to your girlfriend or wife that it's going to be a money saver and you'll be all good, but turns out it won't be a money saver, you'll end up spending way more money on it. <laughs> I would say when you're in the process and you open that bucket, don't stick your face in it because the yeast will knock you out. <laughs> Quality of water had the biggest uh, end result on the quality of my beer. I have a lot of friends that drink the ones that don't come out so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's the winner. Yeah. <laughs>